Claudia at Sands New York 2023. Subscribe to Selector Andre. She make you roll like thunder, load like. If you're gonna. My experience at Sands New York 2023. Let's get into it. Make a talk about the fact that me and the dogs them have waited on the line for almost two hours just for get heat. And you see that crowd that we get inside. Imagine the people that are standing outside. Anyways, let's get into the bar. There was not a lot of servers in the bar for this much people. We had to get two drinks when we got to the bar because we realized all oh, things are gone. So, you know, two each. Anyways, good things that the girl them smart um moving along there was a lot of people in the crowd the people had the vibe people had the energy but it was just too much chaos yeah there was not enough security guard at the gate does that even make sense why the security wasn't tight at all i don't know come on let me just say i'm not an i don't know fan so i didn't really enjoy the performance like that but there was a few songs you know i'm gonna sing along i'm gonna feel like him you know get the crowd a look a bit but i am not a fan of um the artist and i didn't really enjoy the performance like that for somebody that went to sands last year i would say i rather last year than this year last year was way better um everything was just turned up last year this year i don't know what happened but they need to fix it because next year they won't be seeing me if that's the case goodbye y'all <laughs> I'm 
into the crowd. The security was upset and kind of arguing, pushing people around, yada, yada, yada. After about 30 minutes, he said, the line starts down there. Went down there, got on the end of the line. The line was not moving. Switched, went to another line at the other side, was on the line again for about another half an hour when everyone started running so I ran then everyone started running again about 10 minutes after so I ran and so in detail I'm gonna hold the phone like this because this would like coming from got to stand after six there was not a line but a crowd so we got into the crowd the security was upset and kind of arguing, pushing people around, yada, yada, yada. After about 30 minutes, he said, the line starts down there. Went down there. So at this point, we crossed the street and we're watching the line from across the street where we can kind of scope out things, you know, get a little extra step if we need to run or whatever. So... We on the other side of the road, standing there watching the line, the line not moving. I, my friend went and looked at the front of the line to come back and tell us we were standing in front of a closed gate. So, so y'all couldn't just tell us? So at this point, we crossed the street and we're watching the line from across the street where we can kind of scope out things, you know, get a little extra step if we need. So after waiting there for a while, we realized that was a hopeless case and kind of just left on the way back to the car. And now it's 8.15, been there for two hours. Yeah, two hours and no let People started jumping a damn gate by the time we was leaving, but we're not jumping here. So after... So since 2023, a lot of people enjoyed it, but unfortunately, a lot of people also had a bad experience and enough of them said about them experience over pink wall. I'm going to share a few with you. So one person said, had so much fun, Pinky. I got to give the promoters what to do. We arrived at around 4.15, ease at the gate. Bar was easy to access till around 6.45. Then it got really crowded. Stood in line about 10 minutes to get two drinks. I definitely think the bar could have been more organized by it they ran out of liquor and they had bottles for purchase i did not at no point feel crammed in a tight space we had space breathing room and could have billa vibes with the crew also tons of bathrooms like a lot the workers did a good job with replenishing the supplies as much as possible the guides also passed around very frequently picking up trash etc so place so the place felt clean right true vibes was right music was good food vendors shot big up triple dose for all these reasons 
Another person sent into Pinky and say, Pinky run, come here. Me like the caption, me not lie. But differently though, Sans was organized. People just didn't want to join the line to get in smoothly. Most persons came late, went to the front, in front of persons that were in the line long ago. Secondly, they told patrons not to come without a ticket and they still showed up. Like really, why you leave your home? Notice embassy, all when a million of people outside, there's quiet and a line. Jamaican people, especially Jamaicans, are too unruly. People, wanna think, share on the thoughts down below, share what y'all think about Sans 2023. And if you know they did it, wanna share it down below in the comment section. Alright, people, this is our last experience. Mega share with you. And the person say, Sans NYC was ghetto. All caps. First of all, from walking up to the venue, people selling Sans ticket for a hundred dollars. Me myself, I pre-ordered my ticket. The line to get general admission was crazy. It was not moving at all all people literally start opening the barricades because we pay our money and it's unfair you're letting in these non-authorized ticket security get ambushed not one time not two times but four times sans and nine o'clock at eight o'clock the lines still don't move and people start get upset definitely should issue some form of refund oh and the drinks included yeah they shut that down early and the person sure said them purchase them tickets long time security literally just give up and now let people push in no bag checked pat down nothing very unsafe also the tickets that were being sold outside those people had on production lanyard like the people them inside boy people Please remember to like, share, comment and subscribe and leave a comment down below as I mentioned earlier. Thank you all for watching. Peace out.